Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Cross, and today I'm talking to you guys a little bit about what I've been, what I've been uh, playing. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, what I've been playing as for the 3.1 update for the Abyss League on Path of Exile. It's actually really good. This build, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Um, its survivability is also it's re really good. Um, you pretty much can tank. You can face. Just, you can just hold down on your main button, which is Q or whatever you decide to use it as. I use Q, um, and you just melt enemies very easily. Uh, right now, I'm almost fully geared. I got myself two Ichimongis. Quite. Uh, one of them is quite good. The other one is uh, mediocre, which is this one here on the, on the right. Um, uh, my my boots and my boots are just for resistances and extra strength. Uh, this strength gives uh, gives me um, health, which is the next thing I'm gonna actually change on on this. Um, the setup that I have currently, which uh, is working really, really well. Um, I got a really nice uh, Phoenix Snare Stike and Vise uh, belt, and I got myself some fire resistance on that. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing on, actually for this build is, if you see here on my defenses, um, the only place that I'm kind of lacking is in the, the fire resistances. Um, everywhere is currently maxed out though which is amazing um, helps you for maps and also for uber zero um, hemophilia mainly to get th that bleeding duration um, reduced also uh, because we're actually using bleed on our cleave um, any bleeding enemies actually explode and deal 5% of their damage and you also get 39% increased damage on those enemies for each of those hits. Um, with also a damage over time, really good. The only thing I actually don't like about this is that it's very low armor. But it's it's not the ability of the beast will uh, help you out with that. Um, this uh, the rings are mainly just resistance rolls and some. Uh, Rarity as well with the with the amulet resistance rolls from rarity. Uh, just just try to get as good drops as we possibly can. Um, currently only fi like forty fifty percent. Um, damage is is pretty decent. Uh, there's a few things that I'll that I need to go over as well here for uh, the path of passive tree. Um, we got our endurance charges and stuff like that. We uh, go ahead and get get extra armor, life. We pretty pretty much just stack life. The only thing I'm actually missing on this currently is um, the life nodes behind here and Uber, which I'm gonna go ahead and grab Unbreakable. For your Pantheon, you just go get Unflinching, Unrelenting, Unyielding, and then Unbreakable. Um, so once you're as far as I am here, go ahead and grab his loot. Uh, you can grab Crimson Dance as well for the bleed. You grab this aura effect to help for your, uh, we're going to grab this one as well. And, uh, this one. Well, we don't really need the area of effect. It's just to reduce mana and the 6% 6 6 increased effect of non-curses, which will, uh, help for a hold of ash in your haste. Um... Pretty much this is a tick jug uh, build, except I'm just going a lot more for speed, so then you can use that as a mapper as well. Um, who? Uh, what's next? I suppose I can I can go to a map for you guys. I haven't got a huge tier maps here now, so I won't don't expect anything uh, crazy. Um, I don't even think I have a tier three. I do. Let's do springs actually. Actually, no, I got a five. There we go. Let's 
last chance it. Alright. Let me just uh, put on this sound here as well for you guys. Because um, I, I usually listen to music when I'm playing uh, playing my games. I'm still not hearing anything. Alright, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the sounds. But... Hang on, let me just get it. Alright, let's just move. So we use Whirling Blades to uh, whiz around the map really easily. When you're doing a zero, you can use Leap Slam. Which um, helps a, a, a lot more during uh, during it. I, I really do like Leap Slam a lot more than I do uh, Whirling Blades. But it's always nice to just whiz through the map nice and quickly as well. I didn't see what like the tier the tier five. It's just it's very very easy to actually uh, complete it. And pretty much every tree hits, you're getting a you're getting a, a critical, which you well not criticals, but with your meme, you um are dealing a huge amount of damage, which uh, pretty much kills them. So that's why you want to stack your um, as much attack f attack as you can. Attack speed. That's what I'm trying to say here. Anyway. You guys can enjoy the rest of the gameplay and see how the build goes. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, in everything will be in, uh, in the description. Or if not, if I decide to be a little bit lazy, just uh, post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I always read my comments. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Also, remember, if, if you like this build, remember to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.
Alright, so coming back from that, um, as you can see with the rarity from the the, the amulet you get, the, um, the two Lahopa of all, you do get really good drops, and it's definitely worth picking up 150%. Uh, for everything else, guys, uh, I'm going to just quickly go through the um, the gems and links. Uh, so, anyway, for your main ability, you want cleave. You want to try to get that to 20% as quick as possible um, on the quality. Also, uh, on the level, you probably want to maybe get it to 21. Uh, chance to bleed. You keep that 20-20. Faster attacks. Usually... Um, if you can get a six link, go with fortify. Um, or if you have a five link of reds, put in fortify instead of a faster attack. I would definitely uh, choose fortify over faster attacks. Uh, meme and physical damage. Um, you could also go for. Hang on. Um, you could also go for a ruthless. You gotta. Um, if you want to go all reds. Um, very good to start a starter build. Very, very good starter build. It's very reliable, very easy to level. It's very cheap to start off with. If you want to get yourself... Uh, the belly is... The, uh, the belly will cost you about 1.5x right now. Um, this could only... I, I, I actually got this dropped... Uh, these guys, uh, the Hemophilia, uh, Serpent Scale Gauntlets, they're only about 5C. Uh, Ichimon is about 5C each. And um, pretty much you just keep going on as you can. Um, you can get yourself a very cheap uh, 6 link to start off or a tab. And then you can uh, just farm your way up to get the Belly of the Beast. It's definitely worth it and um, I highly recommend the build.